Hello there. Today we're going to be talking about Super Audio CDs. Um, are they worth it? What are they? How do they work? What am I going to get from them? So, first of all, Super Audio CDs are the successor to a CD. They was developed in around 1999. Um, and what they do is they carry much more information. Um, and the output, what you get from them, is they have got better sound. They're better detailed. And more importantly, they will play out of four channels or 5.1. So 5.1 being four speakers and a subwoofer. Four channel or quadraphonic is just two front and two rear speakers. But there's a big difference between the way that that music comes to you. Because with an ordinary CD, you can put that for an amplifier and it will be um, <clears throat> manipulated to come out of however many speakers you've got. Um, and it will sound okay, it sounds pretty good. But the difference when you put something that's actually been made to come out of them individual speakers is much, much better. Um, and I've seen some uh, footage of people showing you Super Audio CD through the internet. Well, it's never going to happen, it can't happen because the internet is only two channel. So what comes through is only two channel, but your amplifier or your receiver is, is splitting out over a number of speakers. So it's not actually what you get when you listen to Super Audio CDs. Um, there's three different types of CD, or Super Audio CD, and that is a single layer disc. Single layer disc just has the 5.1 or the four channel um, music put, in, put through into it. Then there's a two layer Super Audio CD. That one's got a CD layer and a Super Audio CD. So that'll have a stereo and a quadraphonic stroke 5.1 output but that will only still play in a ded dedicated super audio cd player um, so if you play that in a, with a dual disc you can listen to it just in pure stereo or in the 4.1 uh, sorry 4 quadraphonic or 5.1 then you've got the latest type of super audio cd which is called a hybrid super audio cd and that one has got um, two layers in it but the first layer, which is the Super Audio CD 5.1, that part of it will only be heard when you put it into a Super Audio CD player. The second layer, which is a CD layer, that is capable of being play playable on any conventional normal CD player. So you put that into a normal CD player, it'll just play like any other normal CD, put it into a Super Audio CD player, and it'll come out 5.1. So really, they're your better option, but depends if you've got a dedicated player or not. Um, the colour of the discs, the play side of it, which is the side that's got no writing on it, that's the, where the data is read from, on a conventional CD, which are commonly known as red book discs, they're silver. The Super Audio CDs have always got a gold tint to them, or golden coloured. Um, doesn't make a great deal of a difference, it's nothing to do with precious metals or anything like that except for on longevity, the silver discs have been known and, and do um, deteriorate in time. So therefore the gold discs will actually last longer, but we're talking tens of years. So I won't worry about your collection disappearing. You might be talking 30, 40, 50, 100 years before it actually affects them, but Super Bowl CDs will last probably 200 years. Um, that's it for now. Any questions, put them down in the uh, comments below. And if you want me to make more short films on anything, just give us a thumbs up or push the subscribe button. Thanks a lot for tuning in. Cheers.